I'm heading to Mammoth this weekend for an epic road trip. I'm going to bring you guys along and show you all the best things to do in my favorite spots. So if you're going with a big group, Airbnb is your best bet. We found one that held 12 people and was walking distance to Canyon Lodge through only about two minutes walk to the slopes. Just a warning, the lines at Mammoth can get pretty long for both renting gear and buying lift tickets. To avoid these long lines and to save some money, I recommend going in town to rent gear and then buying lift tickets beforehand at either REI or Costco, where it's basically half price. The snow is really great today, it's sunny, it's a little windy, but it's going to be a good time. Okay, let's talk lunch. I recommend packing your lunch and bringing it along in a backpack so you can eat your sandwiches on the slopes. This way you'll save money and still have a delicious meal. The best way to relax after a long day on the slopes is to head to happy hour. Our favorite spot is Clock Tower Cellar. To get here, just take the village gondola down from Canyon Lodge and you can walk right up to it. They have the best happy hour deals in the village and these amazing Tacho appetizers. If you want a sit-down dinner, I recommend heading to Mammoth Tavern after happy hour for some great food and even better fondue. So if you still haven't had enough yet, after dinner head right next door to Blacked Out for some great beers and some fun games. Just because you're headed home does not mean the fun has to stop. There are a lot of great spots along the way. Our favorite spot is called Wild Willie's Hot Springs, which are right outside of Mammoth Lakes. However, on this trip, there was so much snow on the ground that we couldn't get through. Instead, we tried a new hot spring that I heard about from a friend that's a little farther south, called the Keo Hot Springs. Here we are, chilling in the Keo Hot Springs. It's really nice, the water feels great. Great thing to do after a weekend full of snowboarding and skiing. So in a nutshell, Mammoth has awesome skiing, great food and drinks, and fun times to be had. Hope you guys enjoyed coming along my journey with me to Mammoth and that you'll go yourself pretty soon. Stay tuned for our next video. I'm headed for my first time ever to Mexico City this weekend, so I will be doing a video on that too to bring you guys along to all the best spots to go there as well.